the integral of the square root of e to the power of x minus 1 dx. So this right here can be solved with u substitution. So let u equal to e to the power of x minus 1. Then differentiating with respect to x, we have e to the power of x. So du is e to the power of x dx. And dx is 1 over e to the power of x du. So let's put it in here. We have the integral of the square root of u. And dx is 1 over e to the power of x du. So what is e to the power of x going to be? Well, in order to turn it into a u, you have to consider this equation here. And e to the power of x is u plus 1. We have the square root of u times 1 over u plus 1 du. So we have the square root of u over u plus 1 du. And here is our integral. So it turns out that we have to use u substitution again. And instead of using u, we're going to use the letter v this time. So what is v? We have two options. We can try this one. And if you do, you will see that it doesn't work because we cannot cancel out the numerator. So we can set v equal to the square root of u, which is u to the power of 1 over 2. So differentiating dv over du, we have 1 over 2 u to the power of negative 1 over 2. And what is that going to be? That is 1 over 2 times the square root of u. So we have 2 times the square root of u dv is equal to du. So here we see du, right? And du is 2 square root of u times dv. We bring the constant out. And we have this square root of u times this square root of u, which gives you u over u plus 1 dv. And now it's time to change the u into the v. And how exactly are we going to do that? Well, remember here we said v is the square root of u. So it must be that v squared is going to be u. We have 2 times v squared divided by v squared plus 1 dv. So how do we solve this integral? If you look at this, so v squared, it's v squared divided by v squared plus 1, right? So 1 times v squared plus 1. And then we're going to subtract. And what do we get? We're going to get minus 1. So the quotient is 1. We have 1. And the remainder is negative 1. So we have minus 1 over v squared plus 1 dv. We have 2 times the antiderivative of 1, which is just minus the integral of 1 over v squared plus 1 dv. If you remember your trigonometry derivatives, then you will recognize this integral. So the derivative of arctan is 1 over x squared plus 1. That means the integral of 1 over v squared plus 1 dv, that's going to be arctan of v. Let's go ahead and fix that. So this will be arctan of v plus c. We have 2v minus 2 arctan of v plus c. Since v is the square root of u, we can substitute it back. So the square root of u minus 2 arctan, the square root of u plus c. And again, u is e to the power of x minus 1. So don't forget that. We have 2 times e to the power of x minus 1 minus 2 arctan. And the square root of e to the power of x minus 1 plus c.